10 of the municipalities are going through difficult times. All of them. Uh, you can mention Swan in the same frame. You can mention Ekublin, you can mention Johannesburg, you can mention Mokali. All our municipalities. I think there is an urgent need for us to review the funding model of municipalities. There's an urgent need as well to manage how people who are not paying for services should be pushing and be supported by government. And there's also there is an urgent need uh, of ensuring that businesses that are not doing business in a manner that uh, affect uh, service, that, that strengthen municipalities, how do we intervene and keep them? But primarily is a debt money. These municipalities are trapped in debt. And it's a debt within state institutions. They owe ESCOM as a state institution. They owe Red Water as a state institution. They are owed by government departments who are state institutions. So the debt management aspect is something that needs to be managed and changed. And that is why this intervention of all of us uh, is very important. I think it will be unfair. Uh, they might have their own problem as a municipality, but it will be unfair to pull them out. Uh, alone and say this is the municipality that is not uh, supported. But we are intervening as government to demonstrate that when we have all government departments assigned to one municipality, giving that municipality support, it might assist us to, to salvage the situation and assist them. We don't have a role in providing roles in municipalities, but they will tell you, as a provincial government alone, we are investing in 14 euros in this area uh, to say uh, roads are the backbone of any economic development and community development. So if you fix roads, you will be in a position to, to, to sort out things. But you can't fix roads that have sewer flowing and other things. So you have to come back and deal with the basics. And the ministry and the team here uh, are demonstrating that, that we are fixing the water challenges, we are fixing the sewer challenges, and on the basis of that, we'll launch the process of ensuring that government can then uh, a new city develop a very beautiful city will develop in this area it's just that uh, trust deficit people never they don't trust us anymore on the announcement that we made so we just said let's show you and on the basis of what you, you, you have seen you will believe that we are indeed on the right track and the president visit today it's it's, it's that exercise to demonstrate that since the president came here and now uh, what are the changes that we've made and will account to communities as well with those changes but uh, even for anything it's sad. At one point I came there at half past six in the morning uh, just to see whether we were, we were really working and we were making progress. They will show you pictures. It was horrible at the center of the, of the town, for anything. Next time we came, we went there to see nothing, nothing sealed, everything fixed. And next to that, there was a house of, a, of a one house which was uh, under siege, sewer all over, front, back, sides. We went there. Um, uh, by the way, I must tell you that uh, to, to see progress, I called them to give me progress. They gave us progress for about 45 minutes just reporting progress. Then I said, okay, well, at the end now, I want to go and see. I carried that book, which was the presentation, and we started at half past seven in the morning. We finished, we only finished at half past four in the, in the evening. But we had not completed everything because in Sibukang and other areas, in other townships, what you see there, there are, there are about 24 um, uh, uh, contractors who are replacing pipes, who are digging, who are putting new pipes, who are doing all sorts of things.